ready for the most thrilling hunting experience in all of hunting video games. That's right, you guessed it. Snowshoe hare hunting. Yep, there's no funner mission than collecting 27 kilograms of snowshoe hare. That's pretty much 27 bunnies. Uh, probably 23, 24, something like that. Uh, but this is what I've been doing for a little while. Started it a couple streams ago. Uh, I continued it uh, last stream. I figured I would just do a bit of a video showing what I've learned on how to sort of hunt these guys. Now I'm late to the these side missions. Well, most people have probably already done them by now. But if you haven't done it, new to the game, and you just happen to collect this mission here, the 27 kilograms of snowshoe hair, uh, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a shotgun. Any old shotgun will do. If you want to be overpowered as of this time, the uh, bonds are inclined. 16 gauge is still firing bazooka rounds. Uh, so you can't go wrong there. But I tend to use uh, one of the one of the uh, 20 gauges here. Uh, probably the... Uh, is there another... I forget now. Is there another 20 gauge in the game? I've already forgotten. So 16 and 12. Uh, right. This one. The Morning Silence. Man, I haven't used that one in a long time either. Maybe we should use that. Last time I was using uh, the Wingmaster, the little pump action, because I never use this one. But you know what? I never use the Morning Silence either. So let's grab the Morning Silence, 20 gauge. There's no other uh, use for these 20 gauges in the game at all. I don't use them for birds or anything like that. So I might as well use them uh, for for the rabbits, for the hares. Uh, and I always just keep it open sight anyways. You only need one lure one lure only the jack rabbit predator call and that is the entire equipment that you need and you can hunt these guys just like you would do any other animal uh, locate their need zone locate the time that they're there and uh, sort of uh, just look around and look for them it helps to have uh, headphones because these guys uh, they don't make any of those little hunter sense audio bubbles or anything like that uh, so the headphones can definitely help I am currently not wearing headphones, so it does make it a little uh, challenging. But I don't typically do that hunting where you just kind of go and just walk in and look for them. Uh, there's two methods I use. One involves the UTV, and then the second way is actually better. But we'll do the UTV f uh, one here first. Um, this is actually probably the most fun way to do it, though. Uh, but yeah, grab your UTV or Jeep or whatnot. And I've already marked out the four zones for some hares that are way over here that are going to be my target over here beyond Hollywood's herd. And yeah, I'm just going to basically drive over here and uh, visit each one of those spots. We are approaching the target area. Just cruising through these trees. Look at this skillful driving. Fours is really paying off here. Threading the needles and everything. Uh, so it doesn't really matter which uh, what time it is, like which zone they're at, because we're just going to drive to each one of them. Have the uh, shotgun ready and loaded. Don't be like me and not have the whole thing loaded. And prep it. And uh, don't forget to stretch. You know, stretch, stretch your waist out. You know, do the do the squats. Stretch your leg out before you uh, do this. We got a, a fox here yelling at me. Oh, way over there. All right. Don't worry about that. Basically, we're going to drive to each zone and just keep an eye out for the rabbits and hop out and get them. That's all there is to it. Uh, this was the way I was doing it for a while. But they're not always right on their zone. And there's only three to four to a group. So if they're not on their zone, sometimes you can't find them at all. So it gets a little... A little aggravating to drive around and not find any. And then we'll, we'll switch to the other one. So we'll try this just to see, because this could be fun too. You're just looking to see any kind of movement or anything. Make sure not to run them over. So here's another zone. I don't see any here. Okay. 
Beautiful art. And another one, see if we can find any. Oh, I thought there was one, but it wasn't. It was just a stick. Okay. Any rabbits around here? I didn't even see any spook or anything like that. I haven't seen any run. Alright, one more spot. Maybe they're in the last spot. What do we have here? Keep an eye out for any little rabbit moving. None. Yes, yeah, so this is... It works sometimes if you just kind of stumble upon them. Uh, you just hop out real quick. Take them out. But yeah, I got uh, not a great success rate with this method here. Uh, so we'll just move on to method number two right away. This is just going to be a fun one because you're driving around there and you don't have any patience. You can just kind of drive to the areas quick. Uh, can I actually find one of the zones? Because I don't have this rabbit marked on the map. I just want to, I just want to uh, get the icon actually to show up here. Yeah, so eating often. They should be around here. Sun's going down. I don't actually know if it's a feed time or not, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted the icon on the map. So I marked them here. It's not quite in the center, but we'll go, we'll go right here. So the next strategy, and if you have the UTV, this helps too. Maybe we'll just pick the high ground here. Uh, so we can't lose if we have the high ground, of course. Uh, I don't see any of them moving around. Okay, so this strategy involves the fancy collar, and if you have a rock or something, or the UTV, you can uh, get some extra height here. This works really well. Just kind of doing a quick scan to see if I see any. New. No. Okay, uh, so the good thing about this is if you got your handy collar and you use the, uh, the first level of the uh, jackrabbit predator call, attracts hares, of course. The range is out to 250 meters. And these zones, uh, basically there's four zones, they never go very far from the middle. Uh, every single zone around the middle icon here is less than 250 meters away. So, no matter what zone the hares are at, you can uh, attract them. So basically I just kind of park in the middle. And then, oh, there's the red fox here, we won't really bring him in. Um, yeah, basically, you do the little call. You know, you cry, cry like a little baby, I guess. And, uh, wait for them to come in. I guess the, I guess the hares are attracted to, like, a baby cry. I, I don't quite, don't quite get that one. If they're coming to save the lost baby out in the woods, or coming to snack on it, I, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, this is uh, kind of an annoying call to do, because uh, you got of course, play the, the fun lure mini game here, where you just watch the little arrow go across. And never let it go past halfway, because um, it just acts funny once it gets past halfway. So yeah, this is uh, the thrilling, thrilling snowshoe hare hunting. Uh, you basically, this is the best way that I figured out to uh, to hunt them when I was doing it in the stream. Had a few uh, people, especially uh, Norm. Norm kept reminding me that this lure was available to use. I, I was reluctant to hunt this way just because I didn't want to sit here and wait forever for the, for the hares to come in. Because, man, it could take forever to hop in slowly. And while you're doing this, you have to make the little baby crying noise over and over and over again. So, it's a, uh, it's a joy of a mission. Because 27 kilograms is gonna be at least 20 hairs. So I've been spreading this, this hunt out a little bit. I think the best way to do this mission is to just hunt them when you find them. Keep the mission in the background, and if you stumble upon them, take them out. Always carry the shotgun with you, because it's, it's not about how many hairs you get, it is it is uh, the kilogram, so you have to have like birdshot with you or the 22 or something like that, so you can actually collect the meat. 
Uh, you don't want to knock all the meat. So the 20 gauge is probably pretty good for this. The 16 gauge, I think, hits them too hard. You lose lose a bunch of meat. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. So I drove around here. And I don't know if I spooked all the little rabbits, but... Uh, oh, we're about to let that go. Come, come save the little baby in the woods there. Here's... Um, yeah. That's it. This is the hunting. So that's what I'm going to do for a second. And I will give you guys ears a break. And uh, we'll take a little pause here. And hopefully uh, they come walking in. I guess hop. Oh, wait. Here they are. There's one. That didn't take too long. Now, is he just by himself? Oh, I want multiples, not just one. But we'll take the one when he's here. Oh, look. He spooked on me. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, is there another one? How come there's only one? There's usually uh, a group of few. But I didn't see any other ones run. Oh, and also careful when you take your shot here. If there's other animals around like moose or whatever. I had that happen. They come charging out of the woods at you. Instead of spooking, they charge. Uh, definitely had some fun with that. So let's just uh, pick up this guy. There we go. Tug him out. And how much did he weigh? Oh, it's a mature male. Not bad. 90. Oh. <laughs> okay. That works too. So we will do a uh, five-star bunny because I don't have one. I don't, think, I don't think I have one anyways. Okay. Well, that was cool. Um, That's just the... Just how I roll here, just randomly get five stars. So we'll taxidermy him. Does that count towards the mission if I taxidermy? Oh, it does. Okay, sorry, right, it's in there. Okay, well, that's how that's done. Well, that's good. I have to get a random five star every single video and stream. So there, uh, objective complete, random five star acquired. Now, being a edited video, the viewer, of course, does not get the full experience of the awesomeness of hunting the snowshoe hare. Uh, because it, the video is kind of cut up, right? All the boring parts are sort of trimmed out. But to experience this fully, uh, you really have to really have to sit here, do the call over and over again, and uh, yeah, contemplate a lot of things. You have a lot of time uh, to contemplate the big questions in life, right? Like, what bag of cookies uh, do you buy at the grocery store next? And how many bags of cookies? Things like that. Uh, you can expand and, you know, get get pretty big when you're sitting here, you know, on the edge of your seat waiting for uh, these, these hairs to come in. Uh, you start asking the big questions, you know. We're, we're all here for only a limited amount of time. And uh, here I am. Uh, trying to call in pixelated snowshoe hairs <laughs> forever. You know, it's just, uh, it's a good time all the way around. What a great mission. I can't even really do anything on, like, the other screen or anything else, because you got to keep, like, uh, doing this call every 20, 25 seconds or so. So you can't really even... Look away. You need the electronic caller. That's what we need. The one, the one that came and called a while. I have to try that out, maybe. Um, set the little caller up there and have the rabbits come in. Instead of sitting here, calling this over and over again. Well, it's just too exciting in this spot. I think I'm going to relocate. Maybe that five-star hair was just all in his lonesome. Uh, nothing else is coming in here. Sun's going down. I mean, I can always go towards the direction they are coming from. Maybe they're just diddling the way in here. But they, they would have ran, right? In all different directions when I shot the one. No, I don't see any. Alright, well I marked another spot over there. Uh, so basically, I'm going to drive over there and do the same thing. And if I can bypass 20 kilograms uh, this video, uh, that would be great. I would take that as a win, and I'd be almost there. Alright, I'm going to do some 
Forza driving here. Oh no, that's not that's not Forza driving. And uh, just gonna get up here. I do like the sunset in this purse. It does look very nice. We're getting some frame drops though. I wonder why. Oh my gosh, I'm down to 30 frames. What's going on? I'm below 30 frames. This is weird. Come on, game. What are you doing there? Oh, wow. Oh, is it getting towards that? I always lose frames. Uh, yeah, I'm down to 30. No, oh, this is ugly. Uh, when it gets to the evening. Oh, I guess 6 o'clock. Especially, like, 6 in the morning and 6 p.m.? The, the whole system. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. That's neat. Anyways, yeah, I, I lose, uh, it's uh, like 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. I, uh, I lose frames. I don't, I don't know. It's like, a, it's, a, it's the shadows that do it. Because I played with it before. Oh well, I'll just live with it. 30 frames. All I need to do is get a rabbit anyways and sit here and call. Yeah, right. Did I mention before they're supposed to be optimizing the game next update? Hopefully this is included. Ah, and now the frames are climbing back up again. And what time is it? 6.47. So it's only like the first early part of the 6 o'clock. Uh, something weird. Something between the 6 and 6.30s. Because uh, it's starting to climb back up again. 50 frames. I got. I ran out of patience at the other spot. The other spot... Uh, it looks like the zones were wider than they normally are. And a couple of them were kind of out at that 200, 200 plus. So, I know my strategy wasn't working there. So now I'm concerned. You can only sit in one spot and call these guys for so long. But this is a theory. It seems to work most of the time. Uh, it's my only strategy I can really stick to, because I lose patience quicker with all the other ones. <laughs> so, uh, yep. I just started calling here. Oh wait, this is about the, the middle of the zone. I'll try again. Ah, it worked. Here comes one now. Is it just the one? Shouldn't they all be marching in? Well, that took, you know, eight calls or something like that. I think only one comes in. I don't even see any more running. Almost always when I see these guys, it's three or four. Interesting. Alright, don't know. But that's really slow if it's just one at a time. Uh, usually you can hit one and then you'll see the others run and then you can just kind of go where they are and get get the other ones. Huh. That's too bad. Well, what are you, a five star as well? Let's have a look here. No oh, adult female. Only worth five gold. 1.3 kilograms. Lost a bit of meat. So one kilogram. Yep. So, ah, I'm not even at 20 kilograms. Well, the sun is setting now, and I did relocate to another middle of a zone, but none seem to be coming in, so maybe my strategy doesn't work all the time. Uh, all the zones should be within collar range, but maybe the hares do the same thing as all the other animals. Some of them just ignore the call, uh, so that's kind of frustrating. Uh, but yeah, nope, out of all that time, two. Gotten two snowshoe hairs. <laughs> so, but this is uh, sort of how it's done. I don't know if you got a different method. Let me know, I suppose. I mean, I guess I should. I, well, I did try, right? Like before. Uh, like I'd find if they're eating or sleeping, and then I'd go to the zone, but I would go there and not find them. And then you gotta walk around circles, and I'd lose patience, so. Uh, but, I don't really have much success in this one. Anyway, so I think that'll be all the hare hunting there is for now. Uh, because I'll be putting this mission away. 
And just kind of picking up the last eight or seven I'll need. Uh, just as I'm sort of hunting or maybe I'll stumble upon a few of them and take them out. Uh, but anyways, yep, that's all I'm going to do now. It's going to be a shorter video than normal, 20 minutes or so, just because this sort of takes all my hunting energy, hunting these guys. Uh, but yeah, don't see... I've been sitting here calling for a while. And not a single one. And it's right, and I'm right in the middle. So. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of, uh, snowshoe hare hunting, anyways. Uh, but yep, that's it for now. I'm gonna just close it down there. We will leave it out a short video today. Uh, thanks for hunting, everybody, and, uh, enjoy hunting yourselves, and, uh, take care. See you next time. Oh, wait. It does work. Look, there's another one. Just as I was closing off and shutting my stuff down, uh, in comes another hare. So that's another one. So that's three. All right. So that's good. We'll just check them out real quick here, and then we'll sign off again. Uh, only one came in again, then, so I don't quite understand why I'm only getting the one. But there was a bit of a hill there, so... Not really, uh... Sure. Let's see, this is a, a five-star. Oh, no, it's going to be a, a female. Oh. Is it even going to be... Yeah, it's <laughs> less than a kilogram. Oh, no. Oh, I also have to mount that uh, five-star. Anyways, ugh. That's brutal. Another six or seven. Okay. Now I'm turning it off, for sure. I just thought that was funny. I'm shutting it down, and... Uh, calling this one a failure, and sure enough, here it comes. But it took that uh, that hair took forever to come in. It was a good like ten minutes. It's a long time. Uh oh, my battery's gonna die in the UTV. Okay, okay. This time, for seriously, shutting it down. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, see you next time.